Hi everyone, today's meditation is about the importance of our attention. Let's read together in Matthew chapter 16, verse 8 and 9. Aware of their discussion, Jesus asked, You of little faith, why are you talking among yourself about having no bread? Do you still not understand? Don't you remember the five loaves for the five thousand and how many basketfuls you gathered? In this passage, if you read the previous verses, Jesus warned the disciples. For example, in verse 5 and 6, he sa- they, the Bible says, When they went across the lake, the disciples forgot to take bread. And verse 6 says, Be careful, Jesus said to them. Be on your guard against the yeast of Pharisees and Sadducees. And how many times we focus our attention on earthly things. And this meditation is a warning for us today to focus our attention on spiritual things. Our worries are legitimate, may be legitimate, like the disciples' worries were legitimate. Bread was important, and they thought that Jesus spoke about bread. But the day day situation, as important as they are, Jesus is reminding us today that we need to focus on spiritual things. We need to focus on spiritual feeding. We need to focus on spiritual purity, on the relationship that we have with God. And one of the most important ones, we need to be aware of the yeast that the world around us can put on us. This yeast may be fears, may be temptation, may be so many situations in our lives. But Jesus is showing us today that if we focus on spiritual things, everything else, like he took care for the five thousands, he'll take care of us. Let's read together in the book of Colossians, chapter 3, verse 1 and 2. Since you have been raised with Christ, set your hearts on the things above, where Christ is, seated in the right hand of God. Set your minds on the things above and not earthly things. Finally, in Philippians chapter 4, verse 8, it says, Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent, and praiseworthy, think about such things. I hope this passage encourages your church and keep your attention to Jesus. In the name of Jesus, amen.